Hey everyone, welcome back to Yellow Jacket Garage. Um, today I have the uh, the C6 up on the quick jacks. Did an oil change on it because it was uh, in, in desperate need of it. And so I also need to adjust my parking brake. And so I figured I would take this opportunity to do a quick video on how exactly do you do that with these uh, C5, C6. And uh, I think, I haven't done it on a C7, but I think the C7 is the same. And so uh, I want to check and see how this works. The C7 may be electronic. I know the C8's got an electronic parking brake, and so you don't have to pull the handle on that. I think it does it automatically. But I haven't looked into that. So anyway, I'm rambling about that. And that's uh, neither here nor there. So for sure C5 and C6, but uh, let's dive into this project. Okay, so obviously I've already gone ahead and pulled the wheel off. Um, on this side, I did knock the uh, caliper bolts loose already. Those bolts are a, a 13 16 is the size. And then... I have a bungee cord that I'm going to loop through here to hold it up and I'm going to suspend it from the uh, control arm, the upper control arm back here when I'm done with that, just so the uh, caliper's not banging around down there and getting all scratched up and everything because, I mean, it is pretty. It's dirty, so forgive that. We uh, went on a uh, little bit of a road trip in the car. And so, yeah, they get dirty. It got rained on, and no, it didn't melt. Surprisingly, I know. So I didn't compress the uh, pistons back in because I'm hoping that I don't need to. But... Uh, we're about to find out. Ooh. Nope, we didn't need to. I don't want these to fall out though, because when I did the brakes on this car, I did I used the padlets, and so they can fall out from time to time. Let's hope. Just like that, wonderful. So anyway. We'll get those back in when we need to. We'll make sure that that's suspended. It is. It's not hanging off of anything, and hopefully it's not going to fall. So, all right, we got the brake there. Now, I am going to have to clean this up a little bit, uh, just like we did on the Mercedes, if I remember correctly. Clean it up a little bit, get a rubber mallet, knock this loose. Hopefully it'll come off easy enough. I did uh, make sure that I've got the parking brake is off. So it should come off okay, and uh, then we'll get in there and be able to show you how to tighten that brake up just a little bit. Okay, I thought I had my rubber mallet down here. I do not, so I used my hammer and a block of wood. I used the wood up against the, the brake rotor, so be mindful of that. Make sure you don't do that. And I've got gloves on because I don't want to get my greasy handprints. I'm already going to go ahead and hose the rotor down when I'm done, but... I'd like to keep it as clean as I can, if I can. So this dude over here, whoops. All right, let me, uh, ooh, yeah. Let me grab a uh, drain pan and some brake clean. Be right back. Okay, I wanna look at uh, what we're doing. This is the adjuster right here for the, this is the brake shoe that runs your emergency or your parking brake. Yeah, that's what that one is. And so this one has, let me see if I can do this without getting that crap all over the place. A bunch of junk all on it. There's plenty of shoe left, so the, that's not an issue. But I wanna kinda clean it up just a little bit. And so knocking some of that stuff off there. But anyway, the adjustment portion of it is really simple. This wheel here, you turn it one way or the other. Let's get it to turn. Come on. Okay, I need both hands.
There we go. Put some of that junk out of there. Okay. Let's figure out what direction it goes so that it goes open further, which I believe is, yep. So what we're going to do is we are going to get it to spread open further is the idea behind it. And it won't take much on this to get it to do what it needs to do. And it's turning now though, though. That's good. Okay. Okay, so I got the wheel to turn. I got it uh, to where it feels like it's adjusted about right. Put the uh, rotor back on. It goes back on just fine. And it seems to spin pretty good. Now the only thing that I'm going to do after I'm done with this is to do the um, pull the parking brake three times and get it to uh, hopefully adjust and engage. So as far as I'm concerned, that's it for that. I'm going to go ahead and put the caliper back on, put the other padlet back in, of course, um, put this all back together, and then I'm going to clean up the other side because I think it just kind of got a little bit of junk in there and it just needed a little bit of help with uh, doing a self-adjustment. So do that, see how it works out, and uh, I, I think that's about it for now. So, seemed pretty simple, but we'll find out. I haven't tested it out yet, so I'll talk about that in a future video, I guess, because uh, as far as this one goes, you've seen how the adjuster works. You can pull this stuff all apart, and so that's it for that. Give it a whirl. Wish me luck. Thanks for watching Yellow Jacket Garage. We'll see you on down the road.